All right, I'm gonna predict that this is about gonna do about half of the shield. So pretty much like half of his remaining health. Let's see it. Let's go slow, bro. Chip. Oh my god! It just killed? So as of just a few hours ago, Cinderace seven star raids were added to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. With this in mind, we want to try to find the easiest and most consistent way to try to solo them and clear them and be able to farm all the drops and rewards from the Cinderace raids. Now what's the easiest way to go about doing that? I tried a few different Pokemon like Serilege, Armourouge, even Espothra, and none of them were really working out too well. But then we came up with the idea of running this big boy, this big fella. So here's the strat. You run Stored Power, Nasty Plot, Slack Off, and Iron Defense, and my EVs are Max Physical Defense, Max Special Attack, and 4 in HP. Along with that, you want to run Modest Nature, and most importantly, you need to make sure you get a Shell Bell from the Lavincia Delibird Mart for, I believe, 20,000 Poke Dollars. This is going to allow you to heal a lot of health every time you click Stored Power, and will pretty much make sure that you almost never die. So ideally, what the strat is, you want to click Iron Defense three times, so you are plus six boosted physical defense. You click Nasty Plot three times, so you're plus six boosted special attack, and then you click Stored Power. And Slack Off is just there in case you get crit, or in case you just take too much damage and you're not comfortable with it, whatever the case may be. So let's go ahead and see it in action. So at the start of every single raid, Cinderace always uses Bulk Up before you get the chance to do anything. We're another Intim teammate, that's huge. Color Shiny Slowbro, so not, I love it. I actually love it so much. Shiny Slowbro is probably one of my favorite Shinies. It's such like a smooth purple too, look at that. Plus six iron defense. Now we have plus six nasty plot. Love shiny Mimikyu. Shiny Mimikyu is pretty nice. It's all like gray and stuff. Need one in a master ball for the flex. I don't have extra Master Balls, I only have the one, so... Alright. This is gonna be my test for if Cleanse is only timer based on this. Because if I nuke him and he cleanses like pretty early, or like a lot earlier than before, then... Well, you know. All right, big stored power, here we go. Nice. So throughout all the raids that I did, I was trying to test to see when Cinderace would wipe my stats and when it would wipe its own stats. So like any negative boost or poison or paralyze or anything like that. And it seemed like every single time the timer bar, like no matter where the health was, every time the timer was about 70% remaining, uh, it would cleanse its own stats, any, any negative effects, as the game says.
Also, for a majority of these raids, the first, or at least the first few that I did, I didn't change my Terra typing to Psychic, and my Slowbro was Water Terra typing, so I just never bothered Terraing because there wasn't much point. Um, and I was able to successfully do them pretty much every single time. Like, the only times that I failed were I got crit and literally just died, and it was kind of hard to get my boost back. Um, but then as soon as I changed my Slowbro to Psychic Terra typing, it... As soon as you get to click the three sword powers and you can terrestrialize to Psychic, you absolutely just nuke the rest of its health every single time. Oh my god! I did not think that would just kill from there. Good lord, brother. <laughs> Sheesh! Slubber is too good, bro. Slubber is actually insane. I got a patch, yo, let's go. Now you may have noticed in that raid, I did have a Tauros teammate that was intimidating Cinderace every single time it died and would come back in. So effectively the Cinderace was minus six physical attack every single, like just at any given point, unless, like until after it cleansed. But otherwise it was minus six attack and I was plus six physical defense. So I was taking absolutely nothing any time it hit me. So this next raid is going to be with no Intimidate teammates or anything like that. I think the only Pokemon on my team was like that could actually negatively affect Cinderace was Thunder Wave on my Umbreon. If yeah, if you get Staraptor as a teammate, it's just free. All right, no Intim this time. Let's see what we can do. Oh my god, he crit me turn one. So like I said before, this is why we run slack off. So as you can see, Cinderace set up the bulk up at the very beginning and then crit my slow bro with acrobatics. Uh, that put me about like 40%-ish health, put me I think at 113. Um, so obviously that's not really ideal. Obviously I still get the iron defense off, but then I'm not really able to continue getting iron defenses unless I am somehow able to heal so as you'll see here I'll click slack off I'll heal back up and then I'll be able to continue setting up my plus six iron defense and my plus six nasty plots and then keep going with the same strat there'll be two more bulk ups that I'm like super boned um but you know So from here, we just set up all of our nasty plots and then we start clicking stored power. So pretty much once you get all your boosts, you can just click stored power uh, as long as you won't die to one acrobatics or whatever move he usually uses. Pretty much every time he's gonna click acrobatics, high jump kick and pyro ball do almost negative damage to you. So you really don't have to worry about that. Again, unless he crits you. But even then, both of those moves are resisted and you're not gonna take much. So acrobatics is really the only move you have to worry about. Um, and then because of Shell Bell, you're going to be healing your health all the way back up off of the massive damage you're doing with the stored power. Oh my god, I outspeed him. I actually just outsped him. That's crazy. Yeah, I just outspeed him now. That's insane. All right, there's all my health back. Alright, there's the self-cleanse. Still right about on schedule, about 70%. He's plus 3 now. He's plus 4 now. Oh my god. He's not paralyzed anymore, which is also kind of tough. He hit me at some point and didn't show it. That's why I'm like half health instead of full. I should be able to tear after this turn. That's gonna hurt. It's fine. Nice. All 
All right, now we Terra. The animation got scuffed again. <laughs> If he cleansed you when he wiped himself, it'd be three times. Yeah, no, 100%. Like, if he just does a double cleanse, yeah. All right, we eat that. Sword power. How much is this going to do? Oh, my God. That just kills from there. Wow, bro. That's pretty much all you need. So, as long as you have Slowbro with a Shell Bell item equipped, which you can buy for 20,000 Poke Dollars in the Lavincia Deli Bird Mart, and you have stored power, nasty plot, iron defense, and slack off. And again, slack off is really only there in case something goes wrong really early on. Usually you won't need to use it. So you just click your iron defense three times, you click your uh, nasty plot three times, and then you click stored power and you will heal a lot of health every single time you click stored power. If something goes wrong, you get crit later on and you die anything like that you can try to set up again and if it doesn't work that's okay you back out you go back in and you just run the same strat again almost every time that i did this even if i got crit late on like later on uh when he was close to dying or he cleansed or anything like that i was able to set back up and kill him pretty easily um but it all kind of depends on what random ai teammates you get if you don't get an intimidated teammate might be a little more tough um, especially if you get a Staraptor teammate though, you're pretty much guaranteed to win because Staraptor brings Feather Dance along with the Intimidate, so every time it dies and comes back in, it's intimidating. And then half the time it just likes to click Feather Dance, so Cinderace is going to be sitting at minus 6 attack and barely tickling you with any of its moves. So, as long as you follow the strat and you just click your, you get your plus 6 defense and your plus 6 special attack, you can't really go wrong. So. Good luck in the raids, everybody. I hope you all are able to absolutely farm and get tons of materials and get your own Cinderace. So with that, thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.